Good morning, collective. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. Let's jump in and see what messages Spirit has for you today. I just noticed that. Okay, so there may be something about codependency here. My eyes were drawn to that card and it was in on top of a deck it shouldn't have been. But anyway, let's see, Spirit. What messages of divine values do you have for my beautiful collective? Okay. Archangel Michael, please come in and protect me as I channel this energy. I hope y'all can hear me. Okay, Spirit, what's going on? Please and thank you. Mending. 52 breaking down to a 7. So someone could be seeing things from a higher perspective. Time to go. I'm just really getting right here. Somebody's like, I'm not kissing this person's ass no more. This could be a, a friend, a family member, a um, personal connection. Somebody's like, yeah, changing the wind. I'm not kissing this person's ass anymore. It's time to go. So let's see what this is about. Now, I just saw the moon. I feel like something's going to... All right, for some of you guys, something pushed you away, and, and it looks like spirit. You see all of these stars on this time to go? It, it looks like spirit pushed you down a path, right? But I feel like you're right here before you go through that door to get to the other side, and, and some of you guys may be regretting your choice to leave something behind. This could be a job, anything, right? Some of y'all are in their energy are like, oh man, did I do the right thing? Well, when I just saw that moon, secrets is, is some type of secret is gonna come out to let you know, yes, you did the right thing. Keep moving forward. Because for some reason you feel like some of y'all might want to go back and try to work on it again. All right, on this time to go, that's a 45 breaking down to a nine. You surrendered something. Okay, now I do see there's a onesie. So there could be a baby involved in the situation. But some type of information is going to come to light. Ten of Pentacles. So this could be involving family. Could be involving your stability. There could be something about a mature woman, like a, a mother-in-law or like a grandmother figure. Could even be an aunt. There's going to be some type of truth revealed. Okay, so now you got the Ten of Wands with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody really playing on you. You could even be stuck in that nostalgic energy, remembering all the good times. and But you need to remember why you left. Whatever this is, you need to remember why you left because I'm telling you, there's some type of secret about to come out. Let's get some kipper. Yeah, you're moving towards balance with the temperance here. I feel like someone worked really hard to hide something. But it's going to come out. Okay, spirit. What's going on here for my collective? Uh-oh. Poverty. Maybe you left a Ten of Pentacles situation. You could be having it hard right now with poverty and the Ten of Wands. I don't feel like there's a reason to go back, though. Because if you keep moving down the path that you're supposed to be going, you're going to find your own sudden will. This ain't, this ain't everybody reading, but I'm, I'm going to talk about it, okay? 
Someone's been staying in a situation because of their health. They have something that they stuck with, with this in prison card. So the, the kind of energy that I'm getting, somebody here is like, well, whatever this health issue is, they feel like, well, if I got it, ain't nobody else going to want me, so I might as well stay here and deal with this situation. Let me tell whoever this is. I ain't no doctor. Okay, let's just make that clear right now. But what I'm getting, whatever this is that you think Listen, you think you are stuck with this, okay? You could even be with the five of pentacles in this health card. You could be hurting. Parts, parts of your body is hurting. But what I want to tell you is this is all spiritual, okay? So in your mind, you think, well, I might as well stay with this person or situation, whatever, because... We both have it or something like that. And you feel like you're going to have this for life, whatever this is. But what I'm trying to tell you is if you release this like you have, but see you in the process of, damn, should I go back? Ain't nobody else going to want to be with me. Ain't nobody else going to do this, that, and the third. Okay? And that might be what you find out, that this is all spiritual. This is all spiritual. This is some type of health issue that somebody know, you know, that they don't, they can't get rid of. At least that's what the, I feel like medical people done told you that. But if, just listen now. It's a spiritual disease. Okay. Once you leave this connection completely, surrender it mind, body, and soul. Start focusing on yourself. You will see your body begin to change. Your health will come back. This is not what you think it is. I don't care what the folks said it was. It's not what you think this is, okay? You can heal from this. You need to look into that. You really need to Google that. Look into spiritual diseases and stuff like that, okay? Yes, great fortune. Your whole body will be restored. Mending of the self. The phoenix rising from the ashes. Stop staying in the situation because... I don't want to say the word, but that's what I feel right here. But that's not what this is. This is spiritual. You will be amazed at what you start to look like within six months to a year of you being away from this energy. Completely away from this energy. Okay, what else, kid? Yeah. Message of concern. Because I, <clears throat> I feel like you're in the wrong energy. And that's what it's all about, is energy. So, as above, so below. What's going on on the inside is going to eventually reflect on the outside. So, if your body is filled with um, spiritual diseases, it will start to spill over into your life. Your friend group, your job, your stability. All of it will become, you will become impoverished. But it's the energy that you are in. Or the energy you have surrounded yourself with. Which is why spirit is telling you it's time to go. Somebody's spirit is pushing them out the door. Concern. You got message of concern with concern. Bad health. Poverty. I put it like this. The longer you stay here. You shortening, shortening your life expectancy or some shit like that. Like I said, I ain't no damn doctor, okay? I just know that you, you're not dealing with the right people. You with somebody who who wants to keep you entrapped in something. They may have tried to give you something on purpose. With this eight right here, this imprisonment, which is the eight of swords. Somebody tried to do something on purpose, man. And it's like... Now that they done gave you whatever the fuck this is, they feel like you ain't gonna go nowhere. And this may have been in the past, right? And so you've been standing, standing, kissing this person's ass. 
I just, I'm telling somebody, if they keep moving forward, this is what they're going towards. Sudden wealth and balance, peace, harmony, restoration of the body, mind, body, and spirit. Okay? But you got to believe that. You got to believe that, man. I don't know who reading this is. Let's get out some, uh, what's brewing. Yeah, I told you. Now I'm getting a high pitch ringing. Somebody see. I know what I'm feeling. This person is sick. And uh, somebody did this. They were not fighting fair. Why somebody deliberately gave somebody something to get that person sick so that person could be stuck to them. Mm, hell no. Could be this Queen of Swords here. So now you're tired of the drama. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Wands came in the upright. You holding on to it. Well, I got to stay with this person. Ain't nobody else going to want me. So you sitting up here putting up with this person's shit. Kissing their ass. They sick. You sick. What I feel happening right here. See, I don't be wanting to say all that shit. Because they be trying to take my channel down. They be on some different shit, bro. It's like if you speak the truth, you ain't finna, they ain't going to put your video out there. I'll say like this, whoever this person is, the moment that you truly leave it, my body and spirit, um, I would say it like this, that's it for this person, that's it, okay, game over, I would not stay in this shit, I would not, somebody here know they fucked up, I would not stay in this, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn if you had diseases in all your damn pinky toes. I, I would not stay in this situation. There's a king of pentacles stuck in a situation because of their health, because they sick, because of what somebody gave them. And spiritual certain spiritual diseases can show up as uh, health issues that you can't get rid of, right? But what I'm trying to tell you the health issue is the person that's the issue which is why spirit is pushing you so hard to get out of here people don't realize when you have sex with somebody all of the shit that is transferred in between those two people and so if you're dealing with someone who's very low vibrational you take on that person's energy and it starts to eat up eat away at your body mind body and spirit and you start hurting all over the body you start hurting uh you start looking dark and dull and uh it just you know and see somebody here got low self-esteem or had low self-esteem because i see it right here they trying to hold on and deal with it because they're like well ain't nobody else gonna want me because i'm sick right but you go from the ten of ones in the upright to the ten of ones in the reverse. Tired of just tired of the drama. Somebody needs to just heal, completely heal away from this person. And like I said, within six months to a year, watch your body change. It's gonna start changing physically. You're gonna start seeing differences. And as far as this person goes, it's game over. So I mean. You're taking more of a risk trying to stay here than, it, than you are leaving. <clears throat> All right, trash, throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. What else, spirit? Riding it out. Um. Now, for some of you. See, this motherfucker is planning and plotting. This is the per this is that Queen of Swords. Um, for some of you, the doctors don't know what this is that you got. And what I got with this riding it out, you know, they could be running a lot of tests. Trying to figure out what's wrong with you. Because you see, it's spiritual. Some of you may even have on an item that this person gave you. And as long as you have that item in your possession, you're going to be sick. 
and it makes you constantly think about this person because see some of y'all halfway out the door and it's like something keeps pulling me back me back you don't need to go back what you need to go back for some of y'all are dealing with a pisces see it's insecurity now man that's what i was getting somebody's like ain't nobody else gonna want me because what whatever this health issue is you really are the spiritual attack is what's going on the person you're considering going back to is somebody you need to stay away from needing to stay safe protection you need to protect yourself from this person this is somebody you can't talk to you definitely cannot be intimate with like you got to really cut this person off and like i say within six months to you watch your whole body start changing red lipstick stains because this person is all over town okay not doing drugs right here somebody is in their feelings about a person who is promiscuous why they keep cheating da, 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 da. like what the fuck what you mean why they keep cheating that was... yeah what else spirit what else for my collecting all right, so you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself, all right? Um, I feel like some of y'all could be depressed. You're sitting around drinking a lot, eating a lot, just sitting up watching TV and shit. Some of y'all could have been very active, could have played sports and all kind of things. But since this, this person brings you down, and you may not even know what it is. It's this energy. You free yourself from this all the way. Yes, spirit gonna set the record straight. But you gotta get out of this energy first. I don't know what in the fuck this is. Um, let's get the scoops. Pull just a few cards from it. Yeah, got to show a little bit more gratitude. There's some type of sexual disease going on here. I feel like you sick because you keep sleeping with this person. I did a, a video a whole year ago I, in fact i think it was last summer i said just stop stop sleeping with this person they're trying to give you something that they know you're gonna die with stop it but what i'm getting is because who you are because of who you are and you may not even know who you are but because of who you are this person might have what they what the doctors told you you got but you don't and you will see that as soon as you remove yourself from the situation and watch your life start to change. And I'm telling you, for whoever this is, it's over. Well, I don't know, child. I don't even know. All right, what else, Spirit? New, you're going to get a whole new lease on life. That was this new job. Yeah, with the Christmas here. You get a whole new lease on life. That was that uh, great fortune, sudden wealth with the temperance. It's time for you to remove yourself and balance out your energy. Listen, I ain't never got to make it up. Leave it behind. Okay? Leave it behind. What the first card out? Time to go? You confused. What is you confused about? Obsession. You might be getting fired. Halloween. Arrested. Cleansed. Stuck in the past. Catfish and childish. There's an item that you have with this person's or something like that. Another balance card. The situation needs more balance. Just period. I don't know if this is a ring, a watch, a photo. This could be a damn a photo of someone that's in your wallet or in your purse. It's an item. It's an item. Mm. What else for here? Time is of the essence right now. Look, that's where they want to keep you. Stuck right there with the ass. And this fell on top of drugs. Maybe you were somebody who used to do drugs. And uh, maybe you got clean and you're trying to help this person get clean. They're trying to put that shit back in. The devil is trying to tempt you in something. Yeah. With doing drugs and addictions right there. Or it could be a sex addiction. 
and now somebody's sick. But they need to see that it's, it's, I don't want to keep repeating myself, okay? People don't believe in that shit anyway. They feel like once they go to the doctors and the doctors say this, then, then that's what it is. But you need to look further into that. Because the mind is a very powerful thing. If a doctor can can tell you, oh, you got six, I mean, oh, you got cancer, you got six months to live, all you're thinking about is your last six months. So, therefore, whatever you think is going to manifest. You know what I'm saying? There is a health issue here, for real. I see it. Okay? And then the first card we had to flip over on that other deck was codependency. So somebody's facing either drug addiction, sex addiction, and that lifestyle I'm caught up to them some kind of way. Now, some of you were committed to a person who had all these problems going on, and now they done got your ass sick. Blackmail. They want to keep you stuck to them. Some of these people got you addicted to a drug. They got you addicted to drugs, so they know that they will never have to go without. Because you're going to be out there looking for them too. That's, that's some fucked up shit going on. But time to go leave it behind. Okay? Situation need more balance. What else, spirit? Yeah, look at that shit. Be sure. That's that message of concern. That concern right there. The information or the situation may leave you sure. So somebody putting something in someone's drink or food or something to cause confusion here. You know what I feel like this is? Y'all need a break. You need a getaway. Mm-hmm. You need to pack your little bag and go on some type of retreat. I mean, they have healing waters all around the world. And I mean, if you have the if you have the means, we do have the ten of pentacles here. So some of y'all have the ability go search up some of those healing ass waters. See them water right there. Go search up some of those healing waters and uh, go visit those places. Somebody really needs to, um, cause whoever they with trying to kill them through some type of sexual disease. That what the devil do. The devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. And they, they, you know, they do it through addictions. This is how the devil is able to keep you stuck. Addictions, doing drugs, stuck in the past. So, sex, drugs, money. Time is of the essence, like I said earlier. Time is of the essence, man. You need to untrap yourself. Entrapment. That's that eight of swords right there. Now it's in the reverse. You need to release yourself. Take you a break so spirit can talk to you. Somebody's about to have a miracle happen. Whoever this is that's going through this, there's about to be a miracle. Listen to me. Listen to me, man. Archangel Michael. I just said, somebody about to have a miracle. Something that they thought they were going to die with. This could be cancer. It's like a terminal illness. But what I say, because of who you are. Because you chosen. Archangel Michael coming through. Another thing that I'm getting. Somebody came to you and told you that they had a terminal illness. And because you've been having sex with this person. Because that card came out that said, check yourself. So, because you've been having sex with this person, you've been thinking in your mind, oh, well, if they got it, then I got it, right? And the mind is very powerful. So, you may have started having symptoms, but that's because your mind, right? Spirit say, go check yourself. You might be clean and clear because this says protection, prevent from harm, divine intervention. Some of you don't even have what this person's telling you. That they got. Maybe you were scared to go to the doctor. Huh? Maybe you were scared to go to the doctor. Didn't, you know, with this sick right here. 
And anytime you catch a little cold, you swear it's because of this terminal illness. Go to the doctor, check yourself. It could be your mind that's bringing you all the way down. People, we are very powerful, okay? We manifest shit into our lives. <clears throat> and that could be what this is. Somebody could have told you that they had a terminal illness and you feel like you got it, so y'all might as well stay together. Because that's what I'm getting here. Somebody stands stuck with someone because of this illness. But a lot of you, if you go to the doctor, you realize that you don't have it. And then others of you who have went to the doctor and that what the doctor then said, Spirit say, I got the final say. Spirit, the most high God got the final say. Remove yourself from this. Okay? Remove. Because you're miserable anyway. Uh, Leo energy. So I'm coming out in reverse. You Happiness in the reverse. You're miserable. You're hiding from people. I ain't going outside today. Because maybe you look like shit. Let's keep it above. You might look like straight up dog shit because of the things that you're telling yourself. Some of y'all is like, fuck it, I'm just going to keep on doing whatever this, doing drugs, addictions. I'm just keep on popping these pills and drinking and, you know, you just look totally different. Some of y'all might have gained a little weight, you know. Yeah, you need to get away from this person. Avoid this energy. And that's what Spirit trying to tell you to do. Leave it behind. Time to go. Okay. What else, Spirit? Some of these cards upside down. Oh. And that might be hard. You might have a family with this person. Or your family could have set you up with this person. It says blood ties in a circle, family. So either a family member or a friend hooked you up with this per. That's fucked up. Oh, that's real fucked up. But they still lost. If you are obedient, if you are obedient and cut these motherfuckers off and get by yourself so spirit can start working with you. Now, for some of you, yeah, your family member, like a, a sister or a brother, may have hooked you up with somebody that they knew was sick. And they told you to deal with this person on purpose. Oh, my God. Yep, this is who you are. And what I say, because of who you are, spirit ain't going to let this happen to you. Somebody about that. It's about to be a miracle take place. In the here and now. In the present, a miracle is about to take place. But you got to get away from this energy. So that these miracles can take place. Okay? Somebody's family set them up. People had receipts. They knew that this other energy, this queen of swords was sick as fuck. And they set you up with this person anyway. That's fucked up, man. And then others of you, because the Queen of Swords told you this is what they had, you assumed you had it, so you stayed in this connection. And what, keep sleeping with them? Like, oh, this is, it's really giving me hopeless energy. Well, if they got it, I got it, I might as well keep staying with them. No, somebody's about to have a miracle performed on their ass because of who they are. But you got to clear your energy, okay? I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Archangel Michael says that they're going to protect you from harm. Divine intervention, okay? As soon as I said a miracle, this card popped out. So, wow. Mm, mm, mm. That's fucked up to know, y'all. Y'all damn family members. And set you up with this infected person. Mm -mm. They got to go from they got they gonna suffer for that too now. Please believe me. They gonna suffer from that too. But uh, you need to come up out of there, and you're gonna see your whole life change. Right now, you stuck. The sun is in the reverse, and you know in that poverty because of what you think you got or what you've been told. Some y'all need to get a second opinion. Shit. 
Because again, the most high God has the final say. But what you need to do for sure, for sure, is get the hell on. It's time to go, man. It's time to go. All right? That's what I got. Let me get y'all a message right here from Spirit. Yes, brand new beginnings away from this karmic past life issue. All right? The situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences. This is a karmic situation that has plagued you in multiple lifetimes. Some type of addictions, codependencies, something like that, right? Spirit says, visualize success. You're going to be uh, sent a new partner. But first, you got to go, what you're thinking about yourself is not true. Okay, look at that. The ascended masters is here, right along with Archangel Michael. Spirit said, what do you desire? Because you can have it. You can have a brand new beginning. Yep, you are an empath. And you just don't got hooked up with a, a narc. And it's easy. Them diseases will show up on your fucking body. Second card of <clears throat> shower of abundance. Once you release whatever the fuck that is, okay? Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you have been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are never alone and you are loved. Archangel Michael with the Ascendant Masters. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Literally, a karma tried to get a masculine stuck with a terminal illness. But what I say, because of who this person is, spirit about to perform a fucking miracle. Period. Okay? You got to believe. You got to believe. Do you believe in magic? All right, y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.